I was in Mexico from January 6th to, through the 9th. I go down there occasionally to get medical and dental treatment, which is much more affordable than it is in the States, even if you have insurance. <clears throat> After my initial visit, my driver picked me up, and as we rounded the alley to merge onto the International Bridge, he slammed on the brakes as we were met by a sea of people in the streets carrying protest signs and chanting. I asked my driver what was going on. He explained that the government abruptly raised the price of a liter of gas by 180 pesos overnight, which is roughly equivalent to $8.24 per liter at the current conversion rate of 22 to 1 or, in units we're accustomed to, approximately $31.14 per gallon. As in most countries outside of the U.S., gasoline is priced and sold by the leader. Apparently, these protests have been going on at least since January 1st, which was as of the date that the hike prices went into effect. Funny, I don't remember hearing any of this on the mainstream media, even though these protests were so massive, they blocked the international bridges and brought all vehicle and much of the pedestrian traffic to a standstill. With more than 1,500 federales deployed, along with state and local law enforcement and the military, to quell the protests, the scene was utter chaos as the authorities failed to prevent border crossing blockages or rampant looting that occurred across the country, mostly directed at Pemex petrol stations and shops. Although Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, publicly claimed in front of the media that these increases were due to the international market, and I may add, not due to the collusion and corruption with Pemex Oil, Mexico's largest supplier of gas in the country, and his neo-fascist government, like here in the United States, Mexico's government is beholden to the corporations and, of course, to the drug cartels. As we had plenty of time to kill waiting to enter onto the International Bridge, I had an interesting conversation with my driver. Apparently, President Nieto has some not-so-public comments aired on local news outlets in this area. Here's a few of them. One, we have to raise money for the wall Trump is going to build. Two, Trump's wall will place strict enforcement on America's immigration policies and increase deportations, which will put an additional burden on our already burgeoning social welfare system. Three, Trump will cancel NAFTA, which means less money for Mexico. Now, with that said, the government gas price hike, or should we call it more realistically, a gas tax, as it's being used by the government as a method to collect money, will not solve President Nieto's concerns, as a price hike of this magnitude is looking to create a 20% inflation rate for basic staples like food, mass transportation, and other forms of energy in his country in the near term, with an upward trend in inflation across all goods and services over time, if this cannot be rolled back. What are your thoughts? Please leave your comments below, and also visit level9news.com for full reports on information posted on this channel. Thank you.